everyone and welcome back to Elder Scrolls Online. Um, before I say anything, well, before I talk about anything in this video, I just want to let you guys know I'm still sick, which is why I haven't really recorded any videos and which is why I probably sound like crap, so I apologize in advance for this, but I really wanted to record this video. So with the announcement for this, the Somerset Isles chapter that's going to be released everywhere in June, I believe June 5th, but for PC, it's coming out, I think, May 21st. Um, they released a uh, prologue quest, which is what they did for um, Morrowind, and I think they did it for Clockwork City. So I I'm going to do that today in this video. So what you need to do in order to start this quest is you go to the crown store and there should be a free item here, Mage's Guild Message Stone. And you get that and then I guess you just use it oh it looks kind of cool an enchanted stone for Vanus Galarian I know a lot of people don't like him because they say he's arrogant I like him oh my god my voice sounds horrible I'm so sorry I know I'm gonna like edit this video and be like why did I record this but anyway this stone contains a private message of vital importance for Feyre who's my character here from Vanus Galarian from the Mages Guild activate the stone to receive the message okay I'll activate it finally Hello. Here, the great mage need good to see you again, my friend. I sent that message stone days ago. I was worried it hadn't reached you. Let me set aside what I was working on and then we can get down to business. Oh, I like how he's always so busy. Why have you been trying to contact me? It seems I have a message for you from an oracle. It came to me in a most unsettling manner. But this isn't the proper way to hold a conversation. Meet me at the Mage's Guild Hall in Daggerfall. We can speak freely there. What's wrong with speaking here? This is a waste of magicka. Important business should be conducted in person, and matters involving an oracle require a modicum of privacy. Besides, no one else can see me. You appear to oh, be well, talking to good. yourself. Oh, well, that's not good. All right, I'll meet you at the Daggerfall Mage's Guild. Convenient for me, I'm already in Daggerfall, so I'm going to go head over to the Mage's Guild. Oh, by the way, if you happen to notice this fancy mount that I'm riding, this, uh, you get this mount when you pre-purchase Somerset Isles. Uh, right now you can pre-purchase it. And I'm not, I think it's with the Collector's Digital Edition. Or any of the Collector's Edition, I think, you can get, uh, this mount. And you get it right now, which is pretty cool. Alright, so I made it to the Mage's Guild. Let me just change up my quest. And the quest is called Through a Veil Darkly, which, I don't know, I could have sworn we had a quest called that already, but I'm probably wrong. Just gonna up the dialogue. Okay. Again, I'm really sorry about my voice, how I probably sound really terrible. But I really wanted to record something, so I gosh darn it I did. Or I am. <laughs> Alright, here's Vanus. Well, I was about to portal to Eleanor for a proper meal, but since you're here now, we might as well discuss that message. It came from Mari, an oracle of the weird. I usually avoid soothsayers. But Mari possesses a genuine talent. And this oracle mentioned me by name? Down to the last syllable. Her predictions are open to interpretation, but her words made me uneasy. A web of trouble. The island that went away. Three dark princes. Hmm. In your name. After that, she stopped responding to my projections. What does all of that mean? It means you need to find the oracle and make sure she's all right. I enchanted a small boat to take you to an isolated part of Glen Umbra, near her last known location. And take this medallion of summoning. Use it to call upon me if the need arises. Okay, I'll go and check out the Oracle Mariv. As it so happens, the Great Mage knows a great deal about a great many things. Yeah, yeah. What else can I tell you before <laughs> you go? Why did the Oracle's message make you uneasy? Uneasy? I don't believe that's the word I used. Nevertheless... Her prophetic verses tend to be loquacious and hauntingly beautiful. This one was... terse. It mentioned trouble of some sort, a vanishing island and dark princes, probably dangerous. Probably. So what do these things mean? Well, trouble could mean almost anything, though nothing good. The island could refer to Arteum, the home of the Sigic Order. 
It disappeared more than 300 years ago. I think ago. that's what I might mean. And I have heard rumors about some sort of Daedric alliance. Why did she specifically mention me? You'll have to take that up with the Oracle. I suppose you figured into her vision or whatever it is that spawns her prognostications. Well, that's quite a word. If this message came from anyone else, I'd say it was some sort of ruse. Mariv, however, is the genuine article. Tell me more about Oracle Mariv. Oracle Mariv belongs to the weird, a sister of weird. Of witches that a weird word. The <laughs> world. Mariv started receiving visions at a young age. Over the years, she has provided the Mages Guild and the Sigic Order with warnings we could act upon. What kind of warnings? The usual sorts of dire predictions. Most recently, Mari foresaw the deaths of Kings Fulbert and Tamling. I have she no idea who they are. Knack, an ability to see into other realms as well as into possible futures. It makes her useful to the Sigic Order. If you think the Oracle is in danger, why didn't you bring her here? Believe me, I tried. Mariv has always been a loner, even more so than her fellow Weirises. She said she had more to do and that you would come to save her. So get to it! Go save the Oracle! Then get her to tell you more about her vision. One more question. Uh, what does an enchanted boat do exactly? Surely you can puzzle that one out on your own? Yeah, I probably could. It will take you exactly where I told it to go. But the magic isn't permanent. Best get a move on. You don't want to be on that tiny boat in the middle of the oh ocean my God, when no. the spell wears off. No. All right, give me the enchanted boat and I'll be off. Give you the... What? what? You think I have a boat in my pocket? Yeah, why not? <laughs> it's in your backpack. <laughs> Ridiculous. That's funny. <laughs> it's nearby on the docks. Okay. Mark the location on your map. And what do I do with the medallion of summoning again? I did get the name the Oracle provided me with right, didn't I? You better I have. magic the medallion so that you can use it to call me to your location. Provided the need is great. Why can't you just come with me? Occupied. Be sure to save it for a special occasion. Okay, goodbye. Alright, so we have to use some enchanted boat that I hope it doesn't just stop in the middle of the ocean because that would be a complete nightmare. So where do I go? Okay, go right down over here by the docks. So I'm gonna go travel over there. I'll meet you guys over there. Okay, is this my boat? It's kind of a nice boat. It's nicer than I thought it would be. Or, nope, it's this little one here. It wasn't that one. Tiny little boat. Alright, where am I? Oh, I mean, I'm just in some random part of Glenumbra. Alright, where do I go? Okay, I got some crocodiles. Can I avoid them? I think I can avoid them. I don't really feel like fighting them. Oh, hello. What do we have here? Scoffin Mas Mascar. Aren't these the same guys from Clockwork City? Alright. They weren't too tough, thankfully. Okay. I just heard a scream. Oh, it's the Weiris. You're not one of those Daedric monsters. Aelin. Hello. First these Daedric aberrations and now you? What trouble has Oracle Mariv dredged up this time? Vanis Scalarian sent me to make sure the Oracle was alright. The Great Mage? That doesn't surprise me. He's always had a peculiar fascination with Mariv's talents. My sister prefers her solitude, but we come by occasionally to check on her. When I arrived, the Daedra were everywhere, but Mariv wasn't here. She ta she contacted Vanis, mentioned my name specifically. Interesting. I noticed fresh ink on one of her parchment sheets. I think she was writing something when the Daedra appeared. This vision must have been special to attract the attention of those unnatural creatures. Do you think the Daedra harmed the Oracle? Perhaps, but there's no evidence of violence here. No, I think she sent her message and escaped to a place of safety. Probably the old weird site in what is now the Mines of Chorus. It's a good place to hide. Seek Mariv there. Okay, I'll go to the Mines of Chorus and try to find the Oracle. Okay, so it looks like it's nearby. Okay, yeah, I, I doubt that they're empty. Okay, I, I like totally ignored her. <laughs> I feel kind of bad. Oh, I have to take the boat again? Um. Well, it's an optional step, you know, whatever, I'll just take the boat there. It's not that far, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it the lazy way. Alright, here are the mines. So I don't know if you all saw the trailer for Somerset, 
but I think it looks pretty good. I have my expectations set very low um, since Morrowind, because, I don't know, Morrowind was kind of a disappointment to me. It was a really nice zone, but it, I guess it just didn't really interest me. But I set my expectations low for Somerset, and I think it looks pretty nice. I like the look of the huge buildings. I'm hoping this city looks um, is like much bigger than any of the other cities that we have in the game so far. That would be nice to actually explore a place that feels huge. And um, I think some of the dungeons, I'm assuming they're dungeons that they showed really briefly, look nice. So yeah, I mean, I have my expectations low, but I'm looking forward to it. Alright, let's see. We got some blood thorn zombies here. Nothing that I can't handle, though. Alright, these things are all very easy to kill. Oh no, they have a peasant! They're forcing a peasant to work. That's not nice. A lot of undead here. Oops, I didn't quite kill that zombie. Okay, does this lead to a secret, like, tunnel or something here? Ah! Alright, how do I get- can I get- oh, I can get through here. I thought this is blocked off or something. It's fine, though. I can get through. Oh, it's like a secret little cave. Uh, should I help this guy? I don't know. Looks like some kind of tank. Maybe you should, like, be more DPS. I don't really like tanks. <laughs> Ooh, it's like a- s we're off the map. I think it's my add-on. It probably doesn't know what the hell- <gasps> Wrath- Wraith of Crows? Is it the same- uh, Is this the same Wraith of Crows as the dungeon in Clockwork City? There's like three of them? I don't know. It's really weak either way. But I got a purple, um, chest piece. That's nice. I could decon that. Alright, where's the oracle? Let's hope she's still alive. I'm sure she will be. Oh, it's a note. Note to Vanus. Let's see if I can read this. These recent visions have attracted unwanted attention. First they surrounded my dwelling, then they tracked me to this place I assumed was safe. I should have never come here. Remember the messages I sent to you in the past? always rife with the elements of surprise. Our talks were like a ritual a ritual to me. I hope you find them in the proper order, M. I'm assuming that's Mariel or whatever her name was. Oh, I have to use the medallion of summoning. So let's summon Vanus. Whoa, that looks kind of cool. Where is he? Oh, there he is. As I, knew it would. I assume you need my assistance? I guess. You decided to utilize the medallion of summoning. Very well. Then you might as well tell me how the search for the oracle goes. Not well. Deidre, tra Deidre chased her from her dwelling and she came here, but all I found was this note. Let me see that. Hmm. A little too familiar a greeting for my taste, but the oracle always follows her own path. Ah, oh, clever Marie. Very clever. She left us a secret message and Did hid she? it in plain sight. Secret message? It's all in the turn of phrase. Messages, elements, ritual, uh -huh. It makes perfect sense to someone who knows her well. Well, I don't, so... The weird revere nature in the elements. We need to perform an elemental ritual to receive the message. So what do we do? Look for items that represent the elements. Okay. Air, earth, water. I'll find the prepared ritual site and you place the items in the proper order. Okay. That should do the trick. A little ostentatious, but I suppose that's part of being an oracle. Alright, I'll find the ritual items. And guess who is mowing the lawn outside again whenever I want to record a video? Apologize if you can hear that. What's that? A feather? Okay, luckily they're all nearby, so I don't have to go very far to get all these items. Well, that's disappointingly obvious. Uncut gemstone. A pure gemstone. You don't get much closer to elemental earth than that. Okay, enough of your talking. I have all the items, so I'm gonna place them here. Uh, does it matter? Weird rituals oh. aren't complicated. Just place the items in the proper bowls. Uh, okay. I was- I'm not, like, paying attention, so I don't know if these have to go in a certain order. Can I put the feather here? Okay. Oh, I see. It kind of makes sense now that I think about it. Okay. Something is happening. What's happening? 
Master Vanus. It's the Oracle. Hello. You. You're the one I saw in my vision. I knew you'd be able to puzzle out my clues. Uh, barely. Listen, I haven't much time. Where are you? The Chaos Bringers, they caught me. They're taking me to an alien ruin somewhere in Oridon. Bawan, I think they said. Look, they'll be back soon. I have to tell you about my vision. It concerns Somerset and Artem. Artem, this is your order. Somerset, Artem, what are you talking about? Somerset, the green and pleasant island of the High Elves. Arteum, the vanished home of the Sigic Order. Both are caught in a dark and terrible web. Hmm, I saw it. a web. Visions. They aided the Sigics in the past. There are the lawnmowers. Others seem interested. Who are those others? Servants of the Dark Princes. They want to use my gift. Get me to reveal the location of Arteum. You need to help me. Bowan, they're taking me to... Oh no, uh -oh. they're coming back. I'll find you at Bowan. Hurry, remember Bowan. <laughs> Remember, Bowan. Okay. That sounded not good. No, it didn't. You really should make haste and get to Bowan. The Oracle has need of you. Aren't you coming with me? No. This affair has taken on a completely different meaning. If Arteum and the Sigic Order are involved, and I need to keep the Mages Guild out. How of come? Them, what happens? Oh. Next falls on your shoulders. You'll find Bowan on Oridon's west coast. Um, the article mentions Somerset and Artaeum. Can you tell me about them? Somerset is the ancient home of the High Elves. I was born and raised there. Mariv's vision suggests a threat to the island. There are people I need to warn. As for Artaeum, it's the home of the Sigic Order. It doesn't currently reside on Nern. Interesting. What do you mean Artaeum doesn't currently reside on Nern? The island vanished 350 years ago. The right master hid it in some pocket plane for who knows what purpose. I studied at the Sephora Tower during my time with the Order, but Sigic magic was too flashy for my taste. Why won't you help me save the Oracle? I've done more than enough. My break from the Order and the subsequent formation of the Mages Guild has never sat well with my former teachers. If this involves the Sigics, I won't do anyone any good by insinuating myself deeper into this affair. Who are these chaos bringers that the oracle mentioned? I have my suspicions. They're obviously connected to the dark princes that Mariv mentioned, but beyond that, I don't think they plan to harm the oracle, at least not immediately. They have something more insidious in mind. Like what? What do you think they want with the oracle? Probably the same thing everyone wants, to get her to reveal something they want to know. And I'm concerned it might involve the Sigic Order. Mariv's abilities allow her to unveil hidden things and find lost places. Places such as Arteum. What is the Sigic Order? The Sigic Order is a monastic society that follows the old ways of magic. What are the I old ways? I belonged order myself back in the day, before a disagreement over another member led me to break ranks hmm, and form the Mages Guild. We no longer see eye to eye. The Oracle's aware us. How is she connected to the Sigic Order? Mariv not only sees into the hidden places, she has a way to contact them. It allows her to communicate with the Sigic Order's right master. I assume that's one way the Order keeps track of affairs on Nern from wherever it is they hid their island. And how would that interest those Chaos Bringers? Because they might be able to use her to locate Arteum. At least, that's my working theory. I will alert the Mages Guild of Somerset about the threat, and then go to the Guild Hall in Skywatch. Meet me there after you retrieve the oracle. All right. Talk to you later. Where am I going now? Oh, I have to leave the dungeon, I think. Interesting. So, the Sigic Order. That would be interesting to um, to see. Um, to go to our TAM. And also, if you guys haven't um, seen the Somerset announcement, which I advise you guys to go watch the trailers. There was a cinematic trailer and then a gameplay trailer. I'll probably link them in a card if I remember. Um, there is going to be a Sigic Order combat line, and I know they said that one, I think the ultimate of that ability, there's going to be like some passives and active abilities, and the ultimate of that skill line is going to be called Undo, I think, and it'll, you'll be able to turn back time by four seconds, and I think this changes your position and your resources. So you'll get back the resources that you had four seconds ago, which is pretty interesting. 
I'm wondering if that's gonna be usable in PvP and how that's gonna affect PvP. I don't want to scream nerf right away, I want to see how it plays out, but it could be very interesting. Alright, so I'm going to uh, probably cut this until I get to Bowan, so I will see you guys in just one second. Alright, so I made it to Bowan, and where is it going to lead me? I'm assuming this delve has always been here. I don't remember ever going here. Alright, so we have to search for the oracle. Hopefully she's going to be here. Oh, this is a cool statue. Is this a statue from like... Where were they called? I thought there were some kind of pirates, but probably not. I'm probably very wrong. No, I'm right! The Sea Vipers. That's what I was thinking of. <laughs> Looks like they took over this place. They're the Sea Elves? The Maomer? I think they are called. <clears throat> Alright, of course she's probably at the other, complete other end of the dungeon, so... I'm gonna see if I can avoid some combat here. I'm gonna go down here. Oh no, they're chasing! Oh no, that was another player. I thought they were chasing me. Oh, this guy saw me, of course. Let's see if I can run. Please, this Who is that? Time. Betty? Hi. Betty? Is that how you say it? That's a kind of funny name. Ooh, but who is she that's leading me? That's not the Oracle. It's probably some kind of quest giver here. Alright, I'm almost there. I'm gonna try to avoid these guys. Oh, I wonder if that's what she was leading me to, but I'm gonna ignore that since that's a completely different quest. Alright, where is the oracle? No! They're taking her to a portal! Uh-oh, can we follow them? The spiral skine? Whoa, look at that wallpaper. That is cool. Oh, great. Spider Daedra. I don't like spiders that much. Mafala. Ooh, is that the Daedric Prince that's involved? I think so. I don't know if you guys saw that cool statue that they're giving away with the physical collector's edition. I believe it's a Mafala. Oh my god, look at all the spider webs. Oh, that's horrible. Ugh. But this dungeon looks really cool. Oh no, spiders! I hate spiders. Anyway, I don't know if you guys saw the uh, statue that you get with the physical collector's edition, but it looks really cool. Ugh. Yuck. I don't know, people are saying there's gonna be a lot of spiders in Somerset, so I'm definitely not looking forward to that. <laughs> oh, and they just fall from the ceiling, that's so gross. Okay, I'm, I'm in a dead end here. And my food buff ran out. Let me just, uh, get that food buff again. Why are there so many? Why do there have to be so many? Alright. Too many spiders. Too many damn spiders. The Court of Bedlam. The Court of Bedlam? Who is the Court of Bedlam? Because I know we get some kind of costume when we... Pre-order the game. Who is this? Viscount Lelorian. You are dead, whoever you are. Ooh. You are no match for me. Whoa, is that Somerset? Is that Somerset through the portal? Oh, look at them. Weavers. Oh, they're so gross. Oh no, it's the Oracle. The Oracle. She's in a web. Dark princes have almost achieved their goal. You must help me. I don't understand. What are they doing to you? Mafala believes she can reach Arteum through me. These bindings. Oh, you must find a way. How about I kill those them. weavers? How do I break the bindings? Mafala's magic infuses the webs that bind me. Defeat the weavers. And I knew break it. Break the pinions. Then destroy the center fulcrum that secures me to this place. No problem. I'll do it. Okay, I have to kill these things. Uh, how do I get over to them? Oh, okay, over here. Uh, I think I have to wade through some more spiders, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of avoid these guys. If I can. I don't have that much magicka, so I can't cloak indefinitely, but I'm gonna kill this thing. Oh, they're so gross!
All right, one down. So let's uh, interrupt this thing or stop it. What do I have to do? Oh, destroy. Okay. I just just hit it and it'll shatter. <laughs> All right, let's get to the other one. Ow. This dungeon looks really nice. If this is a preview of what's to come with Somerset, then I'm impressed. I, I hope they are going to step up their, like, environmental game. Like, making the environment look really nice. Wow, Veil of Blades. That's something I haven't seen in a long time. Another thing I hope for the next update is that they don't nerf skills, but they buff the underused ones because I think a lot of people are wanting that, and a lot of people are not going to stick around if they start nerfing everything again like they did in Morrowind. Just my little two cents. All right, here's the other weaver that I have to kill. I love it when food presents itself. All right, that was easy. And let's destroy the south binding pinion. Okay, what is that? Is that by you? Yeah, I'm gonna have to kill these spiders. All right. So to de destroy this thing that I think she's tied to, destroy it! Yay, we did it. That was easy. Okay, the portal closed. The residual magic. Whoa, that was cool. Are you okay? Ronis always said I should visit Skywatch one day. Yeah, well, he wants us to meet him there. So how about we go now? Yes, the portal. Let's use that portal to Skywatch. <laughs> I wish they would give us portals that we can, like, create ourselves, and, um, kind of like I used to play this game called Ragnarok Online, and, uh, one of the classes, or two of them, I don't remember, but they used to have a warp portal skill, and you could choose a location to warp to. I kind of wish they would have something like that in this game, so then you can, like, save a few areas and then open up portals to them and, like, other people can use them. I think that would be really cool, but I don't expect that to happen, I guess, because we have way shrines anyway, so... It's not really necessary, but whatever. It's just cool. All right, so I made it to Skywatch. To thank you for what you did for me. Oh, you're welcome. She's here, sitting. Even though I sometimes see faraway places and future events, nothing can ever be truly certain. Yeah. I knew you were coming to rescue me, but that didn't alleviate my fear. I thought I was going to die in Mafala's wrath. Well, you didn't. Thank you. Can you explain what they were doing to you back there? As an oracle, I can connect with other times, other places. I sometimes use that ability to converse with the Sigic Rite Master to keep him informed of events on Nern. Mafala's agents tried to use that connection to locate the hidden island. Did they succeed? No. You arrived in time to stop. But why do they, why do they want to get to Somerset so bad? Or to the Arteum? I attuned to Arteum's location when you set me free. And once again, the visions that haunt me came to pass. Where is Arteum exactly? I don't think she's going to tell me. I have no idea. Or she doesn't know. Just because I can sense the island and reach out to communicate with the right master doesn't mean I actually understand the magic they use. I'm a Weiris, not a Sijic. Okay. It's Somewhere else. That's all I really know. And what about the rest of your vision? Oh, everything I saw remains true. The Dark Princes continue to circle Somerset like vultures around Carrion. And they still crave Arteum and its secrets. That's no good. Your presence will play a pivotal role in the outcome. Good luck, my friend. I'll need it. Farewell, Marif. So, I think I have to talk to Vaughn. Oh, he's right here. Hello. Not that I was overly concerned. Oh, you were. I see you were able to Admit it. The Oracle. Care to tell me what happened? I saved the Oracle from Mafala's realm. They tried to use her to find Arteum. Mafala? She must be one of the three dark yeah, places in Mafala's realm. Yeah, it would seem so. You stopped this attempt, but I fear Somerset and Arteum are still in danger. What do you suggest we do? We? Because of the connection to the Sigic Order, I have to tread carefully. So I have to do all the work. You're right, Master. We don't exactly see eye to eye. As you mentioned already. You'll need to go to Somerset. Okay. Determine if the threat Marie foresaw is imminent or a worry for another day. I thought Somerset was close to outsiders. Oh, it's gonna open up on... The borders are gonna open up on May... Whatever. May 21st. <laughs> yes, the Ultima have a few peculiar notions. But, as luck would have it, I heard that Queen Irene has just issued a decree to open Somerset That's to convenient. immigrants and visitors. 
That's the perfect excuse for you to investigate the island. What happens to the Oracle now? We'll show Ooh. Mari the hospitality of the Mages Guild and make sure she's fully recovered from her ordeal. Then I'll make sure to get her back home. Thanks for your aid in this matter. Now, get to Somerset and do what you do best. Alright, well, I can't go there yet. Okay, I get something called a weird elemental orb, so let's take a look at that. What does that do? Um, a few of my where am I going? Anxious to meet you, Mari. Uh, memento. I okay. suppose after I examine your garden and collect my thoughts, let's take a look at that. Right. Of course, Oracle. What is it doing? Come inside whenever you're ready. Wow, that was very anticlimactic. I thought it would be a little more impressive. <laughs> it just does a bunch of wind. Does it do anything else? No, I think it's just wind and air and a small. Swirly Vortex. Well, I'm a bit not impressed, but I guess that's cool. So, that was the prologue quest to Somerset Isle. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And let me know in the comments below if you are looking forward to, um, to the next chapter of ESO. If you're looking forward to going to Somerset Isle. And, yeah, let me know your opinions. And thanks for watching. I'm sorry again about um, my voice and just sounding really bleh. But I really wanted to record this video, so... I'm not going to record anything until I'm feeling better, so hopefully by next week. And can you not stand right in front of me? Um, so thanks so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye, guys!